that if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something DC that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guy that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the name on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Max Holloway, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Fast pace here in the early going. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh! Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Oh, good block there. Nice punch by Holloway. Lands a nice leg kick. Hands high, hands high. Under three minutes now to go on the round. 
Another kick to the leg now lands. Beautiful work as usual on the feet by Ilya Topuria. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, big left hook there. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. He's trying to kick the leg out. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, the forecast is true. Goes back to the hook shot, but unable to land. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect. 30 seconds in the round. 20 seconds to go. Topuria's eye. Oh, great technique on the other hand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh! Another one! Big moments on both sides in round one. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is Ready. not defending. Come All on. right, let's get to round two. Strong hook to the head there. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. Oh, he's he's got that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Both fighters. He's hurt. He's hurt. Now he's back up. getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't wait. You don't get him as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. All right, so not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this beat. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Oh, he got hit again. Holloway's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? Yeah, well, it, it has to, right? Because you got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worsening. Holloway's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. All right, left is called a break to the action here. Likely to call in the doctor to look at that cut and a lot of blood donation going on right now. And for as fun as this fight has been, I can only hope that the physician still lets this guy fight. He wants to fight. He wants to continue. Let him go. Crowd getting a little bit restless. Doctor has to tune out that noise, but at least for now, they will allow him to fight on. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't got right here. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Danny. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. Oh, oh, these ground strikes oh, are just brutal. Oh, Standing bound and another five minutes coming up. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. There's a lot of blood. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Holloway's cut, not getting blood in his eyes per se, but that is a huge gash on the cheek. Kind of looks like a slot machine right now, and if we get in between rounds, the ringside physician and the cut man are going to have their work cut out for them. He's hurt really bad. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Leg kick lands. Topodia's cheek looks like it's coming. Oh, what a power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. What a fight. He got him hurt bad here. Back to the feet. Oh! Holloway going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world.